Good morning and welcome once again to the Principal's Office at Gems Wellington Academy, Al Kale, and to my weekly uh, video blog. This week we've been particularly celebrating the work of our Arabic and Islamic department and I know that many of you have come into school during the course of this week to see your children perform and show how much they've learnt uh, in their Arabic lessons over the course of this year. Uh, I must say I've been to three assemblies now, I'm going to another one very shortly and I've been incredibly impressed by how much the children have been able to remember uh, and not only remembering their, their Arabic but also remembering uh, dance moves and uh, all the other things that go with uh, performing on stage. So well done to them. My thanks to the Arabic and Islamic team, wonderfully led by our Head of Arabic, uh, Miss Habiba. And thank you to all the parents who've come. We've had full houses for three assemblies and I'm sure we'll have another one in a minute for our foundation stage assembly. Uh, I'd also like to uh, just thank uh, those uh, teams who've been involved in helping to improve the look of the outside of the school. You'll have noticed over the last week or two that a lot of work has gone on. Uh, we have new palm trees, new planting, and the outside of the school is looking really very nice now. And in addition to that, if you're an, uh, an FS or a Key Stage 1 parent, you'll also know that we've made substantial changes and improvements to the playgrounds for, in both those areas. So I hope your children have really enjoyed that. Now, some of this work arose out of the first parent parents as partners meeting which we held in February which was attended by the chairman of GEMS Mr Sonny Varki and other members of the senior leadership team of GEMS and there is going to be a follow-up meeting uh, in May on the 9th of May uh, so that we can talk about all the things that have changed since then and things that have moved on uh, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to feed back uh, your views as well. So more details about that will come out in due course. Uh, so Mr Matthews will be contacting parents very soon to send you an invitation and I hope you'll come just so that you can really get updated on all the things that have happened in the last couple of months. Now the one thing I haven't mentioned yet which you might have expected me to mention is uh, Beauty and the Beast which was our real focus for last week. Uh, we had three performances and the cast or some of the cast also performed at Wellington International School in uh, a night at the musicals uh, but I'm going to mention it now uh, I did a special video blog earlier this week uh, uh, about Beauty and the Beast uh, but I'm joined today by the two lead characters from Beauty and the Beast by Faris who played the Beast uh, and by Deborah who played Belle the Beauty because um, I just want to really get something from them about uh, about how much they enjoyed it, what they learned from it. Uh, so first of all, uh, Ferris, it's a week on since the last performance. How do you feel now that it's all over? Well, I feel very sad because it was a wonderful <coughs> experience that I would like to do again. And I know there's going to be future plays, but this one was really special. It's my second play I've been in this school. Last year I did Wizard of Oz, and it was a great honor to be picked as the main character. Okay, and what about you, Deborah? It's all over now. Are you were you were a little bit tearful on the last night? How do you yeah, feel now? Are we can't. Um, I'm still I'm still pretty sad because it's like an, a new world for me, like drama in this all whole theater. It's, it took me to a whole new world, and I didn't want to go back to the normal life that I used to. In this uh, have school. you done much of this before? Um, I did this last year, Wizard of Oz, but I was only the Munchkin ambassador. Only. Oh, so you had quite a big promotion. And yeah. you're only in year eight. You're yes. quite young to be taking a lead role. Yeah. Now, now I reckon, because I'm a teacher, I think everything's a learning experience. So mm -hmm. what, did you, what did you learn from being in, in, in the play? Well, I learned a lot of things, like meeting new people on the cast. And I really like working with the little kids. We formed like a bond. Mm -hmm. And the teachers hopping around were really helpful, how the move the set and figured out how the scenery evolved, how it was. And... In my opinion, it was an honor to be picked as one of the principal cast because it was auditions weren't easy. They were tough because of all the talented students we have in this school. But it was an honor, and I knew Mr. Morse had a tough decision. So it was really great to be picked, and I, I really wish I could do it again. Mm. Well, you didn't let him down, that's for sure. I think he, he made a good choice. And what about you? What, what did you? what did you learn from this? Um, I didn't know about this being a part of my assessment and uh, me being the main character it's such a great opportunity for me and uh, as Farah says um, we, we create such bonds with little kids with other principal characters and um, like how you socialize between two worlds. Uh, like. And what was the hardest thing for you 
uh, over the whole time that you were doing this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know really. It's like learning my lines, but I got used to it like over a month. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Faris? What was the hardest thing for you? Well, the same sort of learning the lines, but like since I've done it yes last year, I'm more confident, so I know where and the staging and everything. So yeah, that was the hardest part. So you've obviously both had a great time and, and glad, I guess, in some ways that it's over because you get your life back, but obviously a bit sad as well because it's, part of, it's been part of your life for so long. So to, to any of our students who might be watching this at some point uh, who might think, well, I don't really do drama, I'm not sure, what, what would be your message to them, Ferris? Well, to take up drama, because when I was in primary, I didn't really do drama. I was, a, I was really shy and I didn't want to do anything. I didn't get up on stage and sing or anything like that. And after my experience in Wizard of Oz, I became more confident on stage and I feel that I'm more confident and can do more things and like sort of be in front of more people because of that. So it can really build your confidence. And it's really fun drama. You get to act out, like be different people and it takes you to a different place. Okay, and what about you? What would, what would you say to any, any young girl watching this who, who's never been in a play who thinks, oh, I, I couldn't well, do that? What, what, would you, what would you tell them, Deborah? Well, for us, we are like examples to the little ones. Um, well, maybe you should go have a try and take on the stage. It really is going to be fun for you. And it, it feels like that you don't want to go back anymore. Okay, <laughs> so... Perfect. So there we are. So Deborah having to readjust to, to real life outside Beauty and the Beast and obviously struggling a little bit. But great messages there about, about what being the play can do for you. And they've obviously had a great time and they, they really they can't wait to go back and do it again. And I think we, we can't wait to see what Mr. Morris will come up with next year. Hard to see how he's going to beat that because Beauty and the Beast was so good. But I, I'm, I'm sure <laughs> yes. we'll do it. Yeah, do we can beat that next year? Yes. Probably, yes. We can. yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, I'd like to thank Faris and Deborah for coming. Thank you particularly Deborah for dressing up and, and being Belle and being beautiful. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so thanks again for watching this week. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you again next week. Say bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.